Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Foxia Box 4K FPV action camera supplied courtesy of Banggood.com for review. Now, if you're not familiar with the box camera, there's a popular cube camera, and I'll unbox it and show you shortly. But it is a great little camera and can be used to put onto racing quadcopters to record video and now also in 4K. It comes very nicely packaged in this box. Can record 4K at 30 frames per second, but I believe it can maybe do 60 frames per second too, we'll see. And 1080p at 120 frames per second has the M Barella A12 processor and the Sony IMX 117 12MP sensor. It's also water resistant, has less distortion, has stabilization with a 3-axis gyro and 3-axis accelerometer and it has what they call super vision which is not really super view, but it does provide an advanced feature for aerial photography. Take the sleeve off here. We get the world in the box. Very nicely packaged. And so um, details on the bottom of the box here. So if you'd like to have a look at this, please pause the video and you can have a look more closely. And if we open the box, we get the camera mounted on a GoPro mount and a bracket here the thumb screw so this is not a waterproof case but I believe you can get a waterproof case for this too and then if you want to remove it we just undo the thumb screw Pull this out. And we could slide it out of the box here. Now this has a 155 degree field of view and has seven layers of glass lenses for image enhancement and can take 16 MP still pictures too. It's got a little cover on here, remove that, and you can get spare lenses if this does get damaged. So this is basically a cube 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 40 with rounded corners. And on top here, we open this flap. You get a little micro USB port to connect and to charge and to also transfer data. Get a mini HDMI port. Here's the micro SD card slot and you need to supply your own micro SD card and it is recommended to use at least a UHS-1 U3 card and it takes up to a maximum of 128 gigabytes.
And then this just fits and covers back on there. Then on the side here, we've got a power button. So if we press it, press and hold, the power comes on. And then you can select modes. And then this button's the shutter button and Wi-Fi button. Now unfortunately this doesn't have a LCD display. But this has got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And there's a Foxia app that I'll show you shortly. Where you can connect and change the settings. Front here we've got an indicator light. And also a little hole for the microphone here. And you can also get optional ND8 and ND16 filter lenses. This is compatible for NTSC and PAL. And has WDR, wide dynamic range. And as I mentioned, EIS, which is electronic image stabilization. And then it has a built-in battery. A 5 volt 1 amp 1100 mAh and depending on what type of recording you're doing we'll have to see how much recording time we can get. And if we look in here We also get a hex screwdriver. Get a USB charging cable. And this plugs in to the port I showed you earlier. And then we also get these cables to connect to other sources. With a mini USB port on. Get a spare curved bracket. Mandarin instructions. And then this user manual. Okay. Gives us all the functions here and the various buttons. Getting started, charging the battery, basic operations. The various camera settings and resolutions. I'm not going to go through them all. There are quite a few options for the resolution settings, or you can pause the video here. Let me just get the box out of the way. As I mentioned, this is a good design for quads. So this is a Fairy B Dark Max 220. And this can be mounted here and strapped on. You can also get 3D printed housings for this for additional protection and also to help you mount. But as you can see, it fits on there quite nicely. And if we have a look at this Jep Sparrow MX3, this can also be mounted and secured on here to record video. It is quite versatile and can fit onto a lot of racing quads. So I will be using this to attach to races and record good quality video.
So the app you can get is called Foxeer and the icon looks like this. And if we press to open, this is what we get. The, we have a look here. So press and hold the power bo mode button for three seconds. Okay, that's on. And press and hold the shutter Wi-Fi button for three seconds. Thousand one, thousand and two, thousand and three. Now we've got a flashing light. Then we've got to go and search for the Wi-Fi and the password is one, two, three, nine, right up to nine and then zero. Go out here, go to settings. Wi-Fi and we can see here Fox here box and put in the password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and join back out to here go back to the Fox here app And connect camera and here we go this is the camera connected if we have a look at settings here we can select video resolution video quality turn loop record on and off video duration and also enable slow motion you can turn the video stamp on or off select the mic volume select auto low light the EIS electronic image stabilization you can turn off if you don't want it on and then the photo settings you can select photo stamp long exposure photo size photo quality camera settings you can look at the light frequencies tv mode you can select ntsc or pal so i'm going to select pal and go back you can select the metering the sharpness AWB, UV Comp, ISO, Scene Mode, Effect Mode, Detection, Low, Medium or High or Off, Quick Capture, Dual Files, OSD, you can use it as a card DVR, Delay off. Be five up to sixty seconds. I'm going to choose ten seconds. And have auto shutdown and select three, five, or ten minutes. Leave it on three. And go auto sleep. Select TV out, beep on or off, record alarm, okay, 3, 5 or 10 minutes. Okay, tells you the SSID and the Wi-Fi password, the firmware version, the camera time. Select date format, battery level, SD card, find camera, and revert back to default settings. So those are all the settings in the app. You can actually use the app as well to start recording video. You can do single, auto, timer, bursts video time-lapse and select 
I press here. No SD card, which is quite correct. I haven't put an SD card in yet. So I'm really looking forward to trying out and testing this camera and you should see a lot of footage coming from this. Uh, let's take it out and get some sample video. Okay, got the Foxair box mounted onto this JEP RC Barrow MX3. Let's see how it goes. 